Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about uh, storage tanks and some specifications that we have to follow in order to have the best quality at the end, not uh, interfering the processing of the plant. What we are seeing right now is the rafters at the top side of the storage tank which uh, its duty is to take and carry the load of their roof as we are saying here but the most important thing about this structure that I'm going to talk today is uh, uh, the material which was used to build this rafter and the whole storage tank this storage tank and its duty is to uh, hold about 500 cubic meters of demineralized water which <coughs> its pH is around 7 and demineralized water has some uh, corrosive properties when it touches uh, materials uh, like carbon steel the carbon steel is very uh, vulnerable when it is introduced to demineralized water because it can cause uh, corrosion. So, choosing the material for different uh, storage tanks is important. So this tank was used to store demineralized water and uh, the, the, the designer had to figure this idea that uh, demineralized water is uh, hazardous or better say it is not a good choice to use uh, carbon steel material. Usually they choose stainless steel metal to uh, use in the body of this storage tank. This storage tank was covered with uh, uh, solvent-free epoxy color but the problem uh, here was that uh, the inspectors didn't have uh, any idea of the corrosivity of, of uh, the mineralized water and they forgot to they forgot to uh, inspect the, the areas which uh, two parts of the body meet each other and there, had, there we had a gap and also here we had gaps here we had gaps and the mineralized water could uh, penetrate these areas and uh, create a high amount of corrosion which lead to the leak of uh, Fe2O3 which is uh, iron oxide and is detrimental to the quality of uh, the demineralized water which was going to be stored here. Also you can see there we have a lot of places that the humidity of that water could reach and uh, could cause a lot of uh, corrosion and create a lot of iron oxide. This iron oxide finally would, would uh, penetrate to the water stored be beneath this uh, area as you can see this is the, the area that the iron and that the water were stored so what would happen was that the quality of the water which had which has had to be about uh, billions uh, part per billions of iron oxide uh, would finally reduce the quality of the water to be around ppm or part per million so uh, the point here is that when we are designing a storage tank we have to carefully take care about the material that we are using and the relation of it to the uh, stored product. 
So here once again I'll show you the vulnerable vulnerable part vulnerable parts to the corrosion and the penetration of humid humidified water. The, the, the back parts of these uh, rafters uh, also were introduced to the humidity that should have been uh, protected much more better. So if also there is there is there is there is one choice here that if you are going to use uh, carbon steel in these kind of storage tanks. They have to take care that all the parts that are uh, uh, that are that have the capability to meet the water be completely protected or covered with water and all other protective layers. Now we have uh, made some modifications on the paintings so that the quality of the roof structure be better and uh, to make it in a way or to repair it, the color of the cover painting in a way that there will be less and less uh, probability of penetration of iron oxide caused by the penetration of humidity to the uh, gaps beneath the structures. Thank you for your patience and taking attention to these